Hello friends. So I've been asked a bunch of times here recently to sort of highlight or outline or go over what's in this uh, $99 course that I'm so proud of because I'm convinced that after spending 90 days in, in really documenting how we got started on this path to financial freedom, um, that it's going to help a lot of people, right? I have a personal goal of trying to help a thousand people start. And I think this is going to be a, a pretty good step in that direction. So uh, as usual, I'm just going to give it to you all uh, for free. And, you know, you can make your decision if if this kind of an investment is, is right for you. Uh, but before we get started, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. I keep being told by all these social media gurus that I need to ask for that. So here you go. Hit that like button if you like this. I'd uh, love to hear what you have to think of this after watching it. And then, of course, your comments are great. Uh, leave your comment about this course or, of course, become a part of our subscriber questions by leaving a question below. And uh, I will look to create a video answering that in the next two or three days. So let's get started. So why did I create this course? Well, first and foremost, it was kind of a natural uh, thing to do after publishing our book, One Rental at a Time. Um, it's really become, uh, it, it's really grown in popularity. Uh, there's the book cover there. Uh, you can find it on Amazon. It's now available in paperback as well as Kindle. Uh, you can either search my name, Michael Zuber, or the title, One Rental at a Time. And uh, it's increasingly, uh, you know, growing in sales volumes, a couple of, uh, you know, a, a, from a couple of books a day to, to well over 20, which is pretty awesome for a self-published author. Uh, it's, it's very flattering, but now because my email is given throughout the book, uh, lots of people are reaching out to me and asking, how'd you get started? How'd you do it? Right. You, you, you invested in a market you didn't know. And, and you know, how did, how did it turn out for you? So again, this story of starting from nothing in a market, I didn't know I had never actually been to my market, right. Uh, is very timely. There's lots of people looking at out of state investments because maybe the coasts are beginning too expensive. And they're like, how can I have confidence in Cleveland or Huntsville or Detroit or, you know, I, I don't know, in any city across the, the country. I hear the most about the Midwest and the South, uh, but really any market, right? How can I have confidence in that market? Well, that's where I was, right? 15 years ago, choosing a market I'd never been to uh, that was two and a half hours away one way. Shoot, there are cities you can get to faster on airplanes uh, than the market I chose. So uh, I thought, you know, how we got started was worth reviewing and, and creating a story for you. Uh, and then again, um, you know, my story of conservative, long-term buy and hold investing is very powerful. However, I think it gets a bad rap in this instant gratification so social media environment. Uh, and it's just not sexy, right? Because the money doesn't just turn over next month and bingo, you're a millionaire. However, what, what I'm going to be teaching and preaching and what I've documented in the book is this is a long-term journey. We need to think in decades, not months or years. But when you conservatively finance, you get fixed rate debt, you're put in a position of conservative. So it doesn't matter if one market cycle changes, you can out, you can outlast it by just holding and renting it out. Life gets really, really good. And I'm, I'm living proof of that. And, and I'm trying to help you get started on this path. So again, the story is real. This is how we got started. And uh, now let me tell you, let me show you exactly what we do. So to get started, uh, if you want to go check it out, there's the URL. Uh, it's one rental at a time dot uh, teachable dot com. Uh, and then the course name is how to start one rental at a time. Uh, I, I chose teachable because it's uh, a platform that promotes online, lots of videos uh, and the like. So again, uh, it's on Teachable. Uh, this course is called How to Start One Rental at a Time. Uh, but let me give you the outline now. So this is how you start. Uh, I wanted to make sure if, if you know, I, I wanted to build a course that I would have wanted to take when I was starting out. Uh, so I didn't put in any fluff or any of that, you know, stuff up front. I wanted to come in swinging and show you exactly how um, we got started. Again, I didn't know this market, right? A lot of you are thinking, hey, I hear the South is hot or the Midwest is hot, but I don't have time to get on an airplane and go see it. Well, good news. I, you know, I was in a similar situation all those years ago. So, you know, first thing I give a quick, you know, sub three minute kind of intro to what it is and what I hope you get all of that. Uh, but then we get into learning the market. You know, what do you do? How do you get specific? Uh, then we go through and review the output because I do this with you, right? I take an example market uh, and, and how I got specific and actually break it down, right? We spend about a half hour going through that. 
Then we talk about, okay, well, once we do that, how do we, how do we break apart and get the useful information, right? I call it building a, a spreadsheet. Uh, and then how is this going to evolve, right, over time, right? Because, you know, what, what you start with won't be what you end with. Uh, and then I give you kind of, kind of a wrap-up for the first section. So, again, right, right out of the gate, you know, probably the first day or maybe a couple of days, you're already looking in the market, hunting, collecting data, but you're doing it with a target in mind. You're not just doing it, oh, let me look at everything, right? So I'm helping you get, get comfortable with a, a set of criteria. And then what we do is we, we, I basically give you homework and I ask you to do that, you know, a couple of times a week. But then we go into phase two or step two or section two or whatever you want to call it. And I, I try to get you comfortable with the math because real estate investing is a little, at least a little bit about math and it's understanding the simplicity is better. Um, I made the mistake early on of creating this uber complicated spreadsheet um, that did everything and it's too hard. If your spreadsheet's too hard, it, you're, you're overthinking this business. So I break down the exact spreadsheet I use today. I go through it in a repetitive detail because I want to make sure everybody gets it. Some of you that are numbers oriented, you probably flash through this quicker than others. Some of you that math is not, you know, you're not comfortable with it um, or Excel, uh, I, I give it to you in, in spoonful so you can go at your own speed. But we go through the kind of what I do. What are the key variables? We go through each one independently. Then we put it inside a spreadsheet and break down the spreadsheet. Then we then we do some samples and we look at how the variables change. And then again, we talk about how do we wrap that up. So again, right, phase one, phase two, we're step one, step two, whatever you want to call it. We're, we're in the mix. We're doing stuff together. Then what we need to do, obviously, in step three is we need to merge that stuff together now. Because in reality, this has probably been a couple of weeks for you now, right? So you're, you're step one, you're, you're learning the market, your spreadsheet's growing. Um, you're, you're comfortable at least on the surface with the numbers. Now, how do we merge those together? How do we take section one and section two data and, and merge that together? Uh, I give you a sample spreadsheet of what mine might look like. Uh, and then we talk about, you know, what to do going forward. So again, we're, we're, we're allowing you to learn your market, get comfortable with the deals. The whole goal of the first three sections is to understand one simple question. What is a bad deal? What's an average deal? What's a good deal and what's a great deal in your chosen market of your chosen property type? That's what I'm trying to give you. I'm trying to give you confidence and belief in yourself. That's the first three steps. I think those first three steps are worth thousands of dollars. Uh, and again, we're giving it, I'm giving it to you for, for nearly nothing. But we're not done yet. The next one is, again, because I've done this, right? So you have to be able to manage a team. I never man property managed my own stuff. Um, so I needed to be able to at least share with you what I did. Uh, my job was to work really, really hard during the day, right? I loved my job. It paid the bills. It paid well when I did well, and it allowed me to secure capital. But that meant I had to manage a team and understand how to do that. And um, there's obviously kind of tier one people, and you could see right there, property managers is was a tier one for me, as are others that we talk about. And then we kind of talk about tier two, or what I call the other team members. But we go through that, and, and Really, what does it mean to have a team and what is your job and, and all of that? And then step five, right? The final section, at least of the five steps, there is there's one more section as you will see coming called the bonus section. But in step five, I do step back and ask you to self-assess yourself. I talk about your why and your goals because all of those are critical. You need to have something to hold on to. I promise you real estate investing will test you. You will have bad days. You will have eviction. Stuff will break. Surprises will happen. And if your why is not strong enough, um, any bump in the road will knock you down and, and prevent you from moving forward. Uh, I believe this business tests you on purpose for the first eight to 10 years uh, because the rewards are so great. When you do this conservative long-term buy and hold rentals like I have, you buy decades of financial security. Uh, and that, that there should be a cost for that. It's not easy. Um, but if you do it and you do the right things, as we talk about in this course, you will get there. And then just because I wanted to give you guys so much, I've created a, a big bonus section. Uh, I wanted the first five sections to be really focused on what we were doing the first couple of years uh, to get started, because I think that's the hardest part, going from zero to one, one to two. So that was what this $99 course is all about. But because I'm a giver and I want to make sure all of you successful, I do have all these extra videos um, to really talk about things that might be relevant that you could watch through. Um, I think the Norris Drive story there, that second video is pretty powerful because um, if you've read our book, you know that that didn't start off all that well. 
and I think would have crushed most of you, uh, meaning you wouldn't have gone on to the second rental. So talk about that. Um, and again, all these videos are up here for a reason because I think I think they have value, uh, and I think um, you know you can watch them at your leisure, uh, really in any order. Uh, the first five sections I would go in order because they kind of tie together. These bonus sections we're just putting here because you know it's like I, this is good stuff. I I want to make sure they have it, uh, but I wasn't sure where to include it. So in the end, um, you know that's the course, right? It's it's meant to be impactful. It's meant to cause work. Um, I wanted it to be about how we got started and in the end of the day, I, I hope you find it valuable, but again, please let me know what you think. This, uh, this social media thing is about being a community, uh, both the good and bad. So hit that subscribe button, hit the like, and of course, please leave me a comment and of course have a great day. And I look forward to helping you on your path to a better financial future. Have fun.